If you are looking for a court case that literally has absolutely everything, I mean everything, then this is for you. In today's case, we have Daniel v. Daniel custody battle. There are accusations of abuse, racism, pew pews, threesomes, and even dad walking around naked in front of the kids. This is explosive, and there are true warnings, so please be advised. Judge Kirkman has his hands full in this one. And this is only part one. Really provide uh, the court with some sort of a comic relief too. Sometimes so they, they, were, they were a little bit funny on some things, but that's that's great. I like to hear that. Uh, well, as we proceed, what we're going to do is we'll give each of you an opportunity to make an opening statement, and the opening statement is what you intend to prove, what you would like uh, the court to do, etc. Anything else you believe is relevant, and uh, after you've both had an opportunity to make an opening statement, well, then at that point, uh, plaintiff will present any witnesses she has at that uh, particular point, and then after she's concluded, then Mr. Daniel, you would have an opportunity to present any witness testimony that you would like. And then at the conclusion of the case, we'll give you an opportunity to make closing statements as well. So. As you can see, you'll have obviously an adequate opportunity to make you know, the court aware of anything you want me to be made aware of. I will tell you that when you are making opening statements, your opening statements are not evidence, okay? The only evidence you can present is when you are testifying. So if there's something that you feel is important as far as evidence, wait until you're going to testify and are sworn in and then at that particular point, you can tell me. So, Miss Daniel, I'll ask you, do you have an opening statement? Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I believe the kids should be with me because the dad runs around naked in front of the kids. Uh, he drinks too much. There are records. You can look them up for drinking and driving. He's been to jail multiple times. He's went to jail recently. Don't know what for. Um, I have witnesses to prove that he's an alcoholic and that's not safe for my kids to be around. Um, my kid called me the other day, Ariana, on video. I was a witness to this and it is true because I was on video with her. My one-year-old almost drowned because my five-year-old was in the tub. Okay, Miss, the hold on, hold on just a second. In this matter, there's some, there's things that are hearsay statements and those are statements... Yeah that are presented, they're out of court statements, which you're offering in court to prove the truth of the matter asserted. The okay. court is not going to accept any hearsay unless there's a witness to that. So if you have a witness, that would be the time to present the witness testimony as to what happened in the particular case. But uh, as you're going through your openings, don't tell me what somebody else has said or the children have said because that is hearsay, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, I just, I feel like, I don't know, I, I could provide for them better. I am. Okay. I just, <laughs> He don't cry, just he just he's not good with the kids. He won't he won't allow me to have my kids when I want them because of my mom. That's why he's trying to take the kids from me. And I I didn't know I had to present the proof seven days before coming to court, but I do have the proof. He tried paying my sister Tira to come up here and testify against me. And lie against me in court. I have the proof. She screenshotted. I have it with me, but you said I can't show you guys, but I do have the proof with me. Okay. And just to address that, what happens in this uh, particular matter is there is, there are, like we had the case schedule in order, it required various things. And one of those things that the case schedule order states is that you have to present that. Anything you're going to introduce as evidence, no later than seven days prior to the trial. You haven't done yeah. that. So the court's not going to accept any evidence that you might have that was not presented to the court in a timely fashion as required by the case scheduling order. And I would have told you at that time to pay attention 
to the case scheduling order that there were time deadlines and all of those things. So unfortunately you didn't uh, take note of that or pay attention to that. So now, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to present that particular evidence. So uh, Ms. Daniel, go ahead. Um, okay, I've been working. That's another thing I've been working a lot. I don't get out until like six o'clock at night. Um, he drinks and drives with them kids in the car. Like I said, I can't really show proof, but I'm a witness. So he does. He drinks and drives with them kids in the car, and I know he still does it. When I was over there, I was over there um, a couple months back. He allowed me in his house to stay with the kids. Um, the kids had witnessed him and his girlfriend having sex. The kids will tell you. They won't lie. They'll tell you. All of them witnessed it. Which And the baby was in there sleeping, and she was almost on top of the baby. I had to go in there and grab my baby from the room because they were actually having sex on top of my son. Okay. Anything else, ma'am? And him being abusive towards me, he, um, he choked me up in front of my daughter, Ariana. The kids still talk about it to this day. He, they bring it up all the time. Remember when daddy hit you and stuff like that? He was abusive towards me in front of them kids. And he carried, he used to carry a gun in the car. I don't know if he still does. And around the kids, he don't lock the guns up. The, where my one-year-old son had got to a bullet and almost put it in his mouth and I had to grab it. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Not as of right now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Daniel, you have an opportunity to uh, present uh, an opening statement at this time, or you can reserve it and do it later before you start your proofs. It's up to you. Um, I'm, I'm fine with starting right now. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I, I'm going to completely reject everything that just was said. Um, what I'm trying, what I'm here for right now is I only want a temporary soul custody because I've been raising our children by myself for the past seven months. Um, I, I attempt, I attempted to get food stamps, but I can't get food stamps because she's still claiming the kids right now is a federal investigation. Because they want to know why she's getting those food stamps when the kids live with me. And so I have to show receipts. And so with these in the last seven months, is I've only gotten like maybe like four or five hundred. Our, our children, Kyrie and Lorenzo, have severe food allergies. And so I've been paying everything out of pocket. And their food costs just for those just for them two alone is well over like three hundred dollars just for them two because they can't have dairy they can't have gluten they cannot have anything containing nuts as far as um being arrested for drinking and driving that is actually true because I blew a point oh nine, and Kelsey was actually at the home. Um, I had got off work, and we had got off, we got off work like we got like we had a half day, and I came home. I spent time with my family at the time. We was drinking. We was having like a little fun time. Sir, let me let me tell. I don't want to interrupt you, but you you can go into this on your testimony. Uh, okay. You don't have to lay it all out right here. Okay. 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 But no, I did get I did blow a point oh nine once, and I did get arrested arrested for a OWVI. But no, I do not drink, and I'm I do not drink and drive like that. Um, so I'm, I'm rejecting that. Um, I do not walk around with my kids naked. 
and the the uh, she made a statement about um the kids catching me and my so called girlfriend because I do not have a girlfriend having intercourse. The thing is, Kelsey was here because when she says she stayed, we're polyamorous. It was it was all three of us, and the kids walked in on all three of us. So I, I, I can't I can't deny that the kids they unfortunately walk in on all three of us having intercourse. Um, my main thing is I'm only reason I'm looking for soul custody. I don't even want soul custody. I want like temporary soul custody, simply for the fact is. She keep texting, saying she might be homeless because the guy she's with that got her pregnant might be putting her out. He might be seeing other people. She don't have a stable home. She don't have a driver's license. Right now, like, even now, like, her, she would, well, hopefully, be honest, they will pull the kids out of school because we both have equal, we will, Right now we have equal rights, but they like her mother would pull the kids out of school to the point where I had to go to the school and have them take her name off because she would take the kids out of school and make them miss multiple days just so I couldn't get them. We had an incident with the with the officers. I went to pick up my daughter. Her mom slammed my daughter's head into the the um door. And then the school was like, no, our kids miss multiple days from school because she don't have a way to get them there. She don't have reliable people to get them there. And so only thing I'm looking for, to be honest, is temporary sole custody until she can get her own place, get her license. That way we can both be the best parents we can for these kids. Because right now, I'm not going to lie. It is kind of hard when I'm trying to tell, like, our, son, our children's birthday. I almost choked up. Our son's birthday. I told her she can have our son for his birthday. We'll do it the weekend. She couldn't do it because she had no way of doing it. Only thing I'm looking for is to really give our kids the best. I don't care about anything else. She's right here. I'm not going to lie to nobody. Can I object? I want... No, you can't I'll object care. to an opening statement, ma'am. I just, I just want the best for our kids. I don't want them growing up in ghettos. I don't want them. That's why I work... As, that's why I work the way I work. That's why I got this house. That's why I push and I push. I'm not trying... I'm, I don't care about the evil and drama. I just want the best for the kids. That's literally all. And she can tell you that that's besides getting pregnant by another guy out of wedlock, she will always complain that I spent too much attention on the kids and not her. And I agree with that. But see, seeing as how I, I was adopted, I went through foster care. I don't want the kids to grow up in environments like that. It, so I'm just gonna keep. That's that's it. Okay. Well, let me tell you, sir. Just so, just to clarify a point. You said you're seeking uh, temporary custody until some later point. I'm. What we're gonna do in the trial? I'll be deciding custody. I'm not deciding temporary custody. We're deciding the issue of custody. Okay. Yes, sir. Can Can I ask a question? Is sure. that okay, Yana? Sure. When I say I'm, I'm like temporary soul custody, I meant like I wanted to try to get soul custody right now, but okay. we can go to court later and do joint that, custody. That's fine. Just when you said temporary, that was confusing. I just wanted to make sure I'm making a decision on final custody, not on a temporary oh. basis. Okay. Okay. I, I just want to clarify that. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Um Excuse me, Honor. Can I speak again? Can I say? No, you'll, you'll have a chance. You'll have a chance to testify, and you'll have a chance to make a closing argument. Okay. But you made your opening, so 
At this okay. point, this is where you can have your witnesses, if you have witnesses. Yes, I do. To, test, to testify. Okay. And who would you call as your first witness, ma'am? Melissa Hooper. Tatrell. Sorry, Tatrell. Forgot she got married. Melissa Tatrell, sir. How do you spell that last name? T-A-T-R-O. Okay. That they need to join Zoom separately. Yeah. Do you have them there? Okay. Do you have separate ways to uh, join in this matter? Because uh, it's going to be hard for us to have the plaintiff ask questions and you answer if we only have you on the screen. Do you have an opportunity? Do you have the ability to do that? Um, Kelsey is checking for me on my phone. We did send, when we sent the directions, there was an, a phone number. So there is a way you can join on your phone. She can be on screen and you can, you can simply answer based upon uh, your connection on your phone. Do I have to download Zoom on my phone? No. no. Let me send you. He's, our staff is going to send you a phone number, and you can call in on that number, and then you'll be connected. Just one moment, please. You're going to call the number I sent you in a Zoom chat message. When you call that number, you are then going to enter the Zoom ID for this courtroom. And I'm going to send you that too. That's the 712-729-714. Your Honor, is it okay if I get, I get that as well? Yep, yep. We'll... we'll, we'll. So we'll send out those numbers to you as okay. well so anybody can testify Just a moment. when it's ready. But obviously the plaintiff will present all her witnesses first, then you'll have an opportunity after that. Okay, thank you. What is right. Oh, okay, hold on. I got it, Mom. Welcome to Zoom. Your meeting ID. Call the sign now. Zoom ID. This meeting ID does not exist. Please re-enter your meeting ID followed by pound. Let me see. So is that the phone number 269-298-0901? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So hold on. We need to go to separate rooms. Yes. Yeah. Ma'am, Ms. Paparal, you're going to have to move to a separate area of the house so we don't get feedback. You can't be in the same room because it all we'll hear is that go. I'll go I'll go outside, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. Ms. Paparal, uh, what we're going to do is we'll have to have you sworn in before you testify. So if you would, raise your right hand. We'll have you sworn, and then we'll proceed. Okay. Ma'am, do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. What was the name? Paparal. P-A-P-R-O. Paparal. Uh, 
Ms. Daniel, you can go ahead and uh, examine the witness. Yes, sir. Um, so it, basically, ain't it true that Edward Franks? Yes. Okay, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Isn't it true? What? Isn't it true that Edward drinks a lot? Yes, it is. And isn't it true that Edward drinks and drives with those kids in the car still to this day? Yes, it is. And isn't it true that you know that he runs around naked with them kids? Yes, it is. Isn't it true that he's abusive? Yes, it is. And is it true that he left a bruise on Ariana? Yes, he did. Now, isn't it true that he leaves his guns unlocked with it loaded in front of them kids? Yes, he does. Now, isn't it true that he lets those kids without a seatbelt in that car and drives yes, around he does. like that? Yes, he does. And isn't it true that he, the kids have witnessed him jerking off multiple times? Yes, that is very true. Okay. Let me ask, and just I'll have to ask, is Ms. Papro, obviously, in, an, in that answer to that one, you say yes. Ha were you present when that happened? I was not there, but okay. the then kids have told me about it. Ma'am, if you are not present and do not observe it, you cannot testify to that, okay? Okay. Because that is hearsay because you are not the person that witnessed the particular event. So what okay. happens as on a number of things that you've testified to, if you didn't observe, you can't testify to that. Okay. Okay. And ma'am, if you would, for purposes of asking, you're asking effectively leading questions, ask her questions that require her to answer as opposed to just yes or no. Okay. Okay. I thought maybe being over the phone, her witness over the phone might, would work. I didn't know. I thought. She's, she's still a witness. So she still has to testify. Okay. Yeah. Cause she's witnessing most of this stuff. Sometimes we're over the phone, too, when she can hear stuff in the background. And I used to live with them, and they used to live with us. Okay. You can testify about the things that you observed. Okay. So is it true that Edward had left Kyrie up by his arm and was abusing him when we were no, living? No, 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 no. Yes. I think it's really all. Anything else, ma'am? No. Okay. Uh, Mr. Daniel, you have an opportunity to now cross-examine the witness if you would like to. So do you have any cross-examination, anything you would like to ask the uh, witness? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I'm going to do my best. Uh, obviously, I'm not a lawyer. I apologize if I make any mistakes. Melissa, um, is it true that you call like you like I know I'm trying to figure this out. Give me one. All right. Melissa, 
you called the cops on us when me and Kelsey first got together because no, no, you called the cops on us because we was having a tickle fight and the cops came banging on the door because you you thought I was salting her. Kelsey's right here and you're right there. No. Um, Your Honor, am I allowed to ask Kelsey to verify that? No, you can we, ask we, her we, one, we, when, she oath, right? when she testifies, you can ask her. Can ask right. her. We're, we're dealing with just this witness at this time, and then we'll move on. All right, but we, we are under oath, right? Yes, she is under oath. Okay, so she said no. Okay. Um, Melissa, when um, back when we first got to, when me and Kelsey first got together, we were we were play fight and Russell. The cops were called, correct? I believe so. Yes. Yes, because I just said yes. I know, but but why would the cops call for us play fighting? Because Kelsey told me that she called me and told me that you guys were fighting. Okay, ma'am. Did you say uh, ma'am? Ma'am, I'm going to yes. caution you again. Don't say what somebody else said. Okay. Okay. You can say what you observed or what. In this case, because you're asking, you can say what, uh, again, a party might have admitted to, but you just simply cannot offer self-serving testimony, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. All right. Daniel. Um, Melissa, when we, when we, when you, when we move back here and we gave you that $1,600 because you said you'd be high on rent. You didn't pay for it. Why would the cops call it? Hello? I, that I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay. That's fine. When you told my kids that they're niggers and I got upset and I came at you and your boyfriend for assaulting our children, which Kelsey is there, when your boyfriend, well, now I guess he's your husband, assaulted out both of my sons, why were the cops called? The cops were never called and we never said that. Um... I, I actually got proof on that, but anyway, why were the cops called? Because remember, I had to stand outside and the cop came up. And then you actually did do a decent thing. He was like, well, no, 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 no. He didn't do anything wrong. Okay, you can ask the question, sir. Not testify at this time. Okay. So you don't remember. Okay. I have one more really serious one. And I'm I'll be done. Okay. Go ahead and ask. Me Melissa. When I when you said y'all y'all saying I walk around naked. When have I ever walked around naked in front of the children? Um, I saw you. You have never once saw on video. On oh, video, yeah, that's a lie. But I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna try to be as civil as I can. When have I ever walked around naked in front of any child? Uh, you got my answer. I have not gotten your answer.
Ma'am, he was asking for a date, time, Saturday. He says, when did that happen? I, that I don't remember. I just seen it on video when Kelsey was talking to one of her kids. So, I, I so you say you saw it on video, right? Yes, I did. All right. Where's that video? Um, it got erased off of her phone somehow. Oh. Convenient. Um, are you sure you're not talking about when me and you called and you wouldn't stop calling and you, you caught me and Kelsey in the act and I was trying to get up and run out the room? Uh, no. So it's not that. So when have I ever walked around naked in front of my children? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I already gave you my answer. All right. So you say I drive, I have guns unlocked, right? Yeah, you have done a lot. I have no firearms. Okay, sir, you're just asking a question. You're not testifying. Oh, yourself. yeah, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. So you can't, make, you can't make statements. You can ask questions. <laughs> How many firearms do I own right now? Um, the last time I knew, you owned one. When was that? You had it in your car? No, when? Did I have a firearm? Like the last, you say the last time you knew, when was the last time I owned a firearm? When you came over here and you handed it to Kelsey. Uh, Ma'am, Melissa, I'm just asking for a date. I don't know uh, when the date was. All right, give me a rough <laughs> estimate. I Me don't and Kel know. separated in November on Thanksgiving of last year. So anytime before that, can you, you have a date? Last summer. Last <laughs> summer. Okay. Incorrect. Okay. But, so okay. Just ask questions. Don't make comments. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I, I, I will I will leave it at that right now, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Miss Daniel, do you have any additional questions of this witness? Um. Yes, I do. I remembered some, and she's a witness to it. Ain't it true that Edward denied Lorenzo? He does not want nothing. He said Lorenzo wasn't his, and he does not want nothing to do with him when he was born. You were yes. in the hospital with yes. him. Yes, he did. He walked out of the room and said that he didn't want nothing to do with Lorenzo, and Lorenzo was not his child. Didn't he say? And is it true that he said that he regrets Lorenzo? That he didn't. He, he thinks yes. Lorenzo is somebody that I worked with at Denzo. Yes, he did. He. He wouldn't buy him no diapers, no clothes, Whoa. no nothing. When can you give me a pen? Can a, can you give me a pen and pad? I want to write these down so I can. Thank you. Anything oh, else, uh, Miss Daniel? Huh? Any other questions? Uh, no. Okay. With that, uh, Mr. Daniel, you have a chance to do any recross. Is there any questions you have as a result of the plaintiff's redirect? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm going to word this. Um, Melissa, wasn't I the only one working? You. I can't hear you. Half the time. 
Did you, ma'am, did you say half the time? Yes, I did. Okay, I did catch that. Okay, so you're saying half the time, even though I worked eight years at Denzel. Got you. Um, so who was paying for his diapers, wipes, and all his, all his other needs? Because Kelsey wasn't working, correct? For the other kids, you were paying no, for... No, 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 yeah. no, 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 I'm asking. Was Kelsey working? She was working, yes. No, she wasn't. Okay, sir, you can't oh, no, oh, sorry, testify. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, you're, I'm, I'm sorry. You can do that when you're testifying, but not when other witnesses are. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm actually. I'm, I'm starting to get. Like, I'm. I'm really starting to get like how it goes. So, who was who was the one who majority worked <laughs> in the home? Me or Kelsey? Um, you was until you got fired. Okay, thank you. Um, so who who paid majority of everything? Actually, who paid for everything? Kelsey. But she had no job. She got food stamps. Okie doke. So she paid for everything with food stamps. Got you. Um, I don't know how that works, but um, okay. Yana, I'm not sure uh, if I can ask this or not, but I forgot the first question. I didn't get a chance to write it down that she asked her mom, but I know it was wrong. Can I ask if she can redo the first question? No, you can't ask if she redo that, but uh, best of my the court's recollection, she said that uh, it was concerns to Lorenzo when you had left the hospital, said that Lorenzo was not your child. Okay, incorrect. All right. Okay, sir, you can't oh, no, comment no, 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 on I'm what sorry, the testimony no, 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 is. Not, not, not you. I'm sorry. No, so no. stop doing that, please. It's just... Interrupting the proceedings. Okay. Is it true when I told Kelsey I wanted to wait till we got to her home before we had another child? I wanted to give a child a better house. No. That's not true? Okay. Can you tell me when, at what point did I walk out of the hospital when our youngest son was born? When Lorenzo was born? Mm-hmm. Um, as soon as she was given, as soon as uh, she was about ready to give birth to Lorenzo, you walked out and said that he was not your son and you didn't claim him. As your son. And you do realize you're under oath, right? Yeah, I am. And you really you know what? I don't know. I don't know how I can say that. I think I'm going to be done. Okay. Thank you. That's exactly what you said. Ma'am, ma there's no question for you. Yeah. Uh, Miss Daniel, uh, well, I'll say, uh, Miss. Paparo, that's that concludes your testimony. So you're excused and you have a good day. Miss Daniel, your next witness. Next witness, I got to get a hold of her. She's my grandma. Her name is Vivian Weingartner. Um, I got I got to give her the same app, right? If you want her to testify and she's not by Zoom, then yes. Yes. Okay. Give me one second and I will get her. Okay. I need, I need Nina. She's got it. We got to give her the number and stuff so she can testify. Molly, go. Molly, out. Get out, dog.
Hi, mom. Okay. Um, Sorry, Your Honor. We're on the phone with her now. We're going to um, let her know. I'll see me. She was a witness. Now. Okay, there's a number Kelsey's going to give you. All right. If I could text it to you, Nina, right now, okay? You got to call it and then put this other number in after you call this one number, okay? All right. I'll call you. All right. The number is 646. Eight seven six nine nine two three. Okay, and there's another number. You gotta after you call that number, you have to put this number in. So you can connect. So seven one two seven one two seven two nine seven two nine zero seven zero four. Yep, and the second number is what you put in after you call the first number. You got to testify against Edward in court for the alcohol and stuff. <laughs> he's on. He's on. I'm still on the phone with him you know, right now. So you got to call right now. We got to hurry up and get this quick. The judge has other things you got to do. <laughs> All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> I love my grandma. She's so upset. I do what I do. No, my finger. Stink. Okay, Miss Daniel, please find a place and set down. It's disruptive to be moving around. Yep, I am. I had to go. She was in the bathroom, so that's where I was. That's why I'm coming back to sit down. Mr. Daniel, I'll ask that you would find a place and set to. I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to be rude, Your Honor, but like I can't hear anything. I don't know if you guys can hear me. We can hear you fine, sir. Okay. Is this the number 269-845-5773? Miss Daniel, who is the individual that you're calling calling as a witness? Vivian Weingartner. Oh, oh. How do you spell the last name? W-I-N-E-G-A-R-D. N E R. Okay. Ms. Weingartner, what we're going to do is have you sworn in. We'll take some testimony from you at that point. And uh, so, if you would, uh, we're going to swear you in at this time. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I, yes. Okay. Go ahead, Ms. Daniel. Okay. Nina, ain't it true that Edward drinks a lot and drinks and drives with them children in the car? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ms. That's Weingartner, I'm just going to preface this at this time, so... You can testify as to what you observed or what the, in this case, uh, Mr. Daniel has stated to you. You cannot testify as to what you did not observe, okay? Right, I understand. Okay. Okay, now, haven't you seen Edward drinking? Like, when you come, when you come down to visit, haven't you seen him not put that bottle down? You could smell it on his breath. He'll leave to go to the store to grab it, but he'll be drinking while he leaves. Oh, yeah, he drank a lot, yes. One time he came down to see me, her, uh, Edward, and the kids, and Kelsey. 
and he he was drinking on his way down here, and he drank on his way home. Ma'am, 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 how would you know he's drinking the coming down there and on the way home? Did you observe oh, that? that's true. Okay, that's please, true. You're, you're please, don't, point. please don't testify as to what you do not observe. Okay. Go ahead, Ms. Daniel. <clears throat> no. When the last time you came down, didn't he have alcohol in his hand? He went to that store and grabbed the alcohol and he drank. Yes. When he came home, he was drinking. Yes, that's what, that's what we're talking about when he, he had it. Already yeah, opened. Yeah. Well, he would sneak out into the kitchen and, and make, make like a dance out in the kitchen, remember? And then he'd, yes. you know, and then he'd come back in and you could, you could go out in the kitchen and see it in the kitchen. He would try hiding it, wouldn't he? Yes. We would find it. I mean, you would find it, and you'd be like, what's this? Because yeah. he was trying to hide it from you because he wanted you to think that he wasn't drinking, right? Right. And and, it, and he leaves the op open alcohol bottles everywhere. Yeah, I've seen quite a few open bottles that the kids would get when you lived in the apartment. Yep, the kids would get a hold of them. So, I think that's it for right now, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Daniel, do you have any questions of this witness? I do, Your Honor. Okay, go ahead. Um, Ms. Vivian. Yes. I'm going to still be respectful. Um, is it true that I called you about Kelsey's PTSD when she was diagnosed mm -hmm. from childhood trauma mm -hmm. and abuse from her mother? Mm -hmm. um, Melissa? Was not a you talked to me about that, but now uh, she wasn't abused as a child. Um, but um, the C is it true that CPS was called multiple times on her mother and Kelsey had to lie because she was threatened? By who? Uh, honey, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Okay. How, honey, uh, is it true when I call you about Kelsey bipolar disorder when she would have her Rage, yeah. and I tried to call you and talk to you about it. You called me a couple times about it, yes. Okay, and so is it true when Kelsey would like assault me or do anything, did I not call and tell you about those things? Did you call? You're asking me if you called me, talk to me about it. Yeah, I call and I talk to you about her assault to me, and it was, all right. Thank you. Um, is it true that when ever me and Kelsey get in an argument, I will try to call and reach out to you or her mother? To try to get her to calm down. Now that, honey, I don't. You know, you we've talked about so many things. Uh, I don't remember you calling and talking to me about her. When me and Kelsey would get in an argument, I just want to know if it's true or not. When Kelsey would have those things, like her little fits of rage. Is it true that I will call you? I can even quote you. You'll be like, well, I have to go right now. Is that true? Yes, because, Edward, I did not want to talk to you when you were drinking. And I could always tell when you were drinking. Okay. 
Next. Is it true? The reason why we was not allowed to sign another lease was because the neighbors was threatening and calling the officers and CPS because of the way Kelsey talked to the children. I never heard oath. that, so. Uh, you're on the oath. I know I am. Is it true? We, we've, it, have, we, have we or have we not had that conversation? Because we, uh, I, I can't say. I, I, no, yes, yes, we have. Yes, we have. At that one apartment. Yes, yes, we have. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, that's all I have for right now. Okay. Anything else, uh, Miss Daniel, of this witness? For the witness? Yes. Um, no. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Miss Weingartner, uh, you're excused. Uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you, and you also. Okay. Miss Daniel, uh, next witness. I don't, ha um, I don't have any more witnesses, Your Honor. Okay. Do you do you wish to testify, Miss Daniel? Yes. Okay. We will have you sworn in then, if you would. Raise your right hand. Okay. Yes, sir. Ma'am, do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead, ma'am. What would you like to tell me? Um, about what he said, I am stable. I do have a stable house for me and my kids. I do have a job. No, I don't have my own car. I'm working on that. But my boyfriend, we have a car to get the kids back and forth to school, doctor's appointments, and stuff like that. Yes. Um, and no, I do not talk badly to them kids. He's lying about that. And I'm telling you the truth. Um, him, yes, he does run around naked in front of them kids, which is, is the honest truth. I've been, I lived with this man for like years, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to jail or get in trouble for lying about anything. He chased my daughter around the house with a belt, Ariana, torturing her. Um, I had a video in my phone, but it got deleted somehow. Um, Ari calls me, tells me, like video calls me and says things that I can't. Hey, ma'am, ma'am, you can't testify as to what the kids say. Well, no, no, I know. But she tells me things that I can't do that. But what I seen myself is he is still drinking with them kids or whatever. Um, his, everybody in that house is not sober. I see it through the video, um, video chat with my kids. I can see it for myself. His girlfriend, well, weed is illegal, it's, but she smokes it from kids. Um, her mom lives there. Small kids. He's drinking. Um, all the kids have to share a room. The boys are in the room with the girls. They gave the room, the third bedroom, to her mom. So all them kids should not be in the room together. It's a fire hazard. Um, I seen Kyrie and her son pumping. They're mimicking everything that's going on in the house. Um, which is not okay. And Edward used to choke me up in front of my kids. The kids still talk about it to this day. And I just tell them, you know, it's not your concern. You're a child. Be a child. Don't worry about what you can't control. And my, they're traumatized from it. They're traumatized from the abuse. I went through. He tried killing me in front of my kids. And he kicked me. He went to jail for kicking me in the stomach when I was pregnant with uh, Kyrie. That is on record. It never, I didn't press charges because I was afraid at the time because I was pregnant and getting ready to give birth. So that's the only reason why I never pressed charges on him because I was going to. But I was just afraid. And um, my son 
he went to the hospital back when I was in the hospital and I was losing the baby for a seizure due to a fever. His fever should have never got that high. I know because I was on the phone with my daughter. She, she called me and I was hearing him in the background crying and stuff like that. And I heard the doctors and stuff like that. I just don't think that he's really fit. And I want full custody of my kids. I really don't want to lose my babies. Those are my babies, my life, my everything. And that's all I got to say. Okay. Okay. Mr. Daniel, do you have questions of this witness? I actually do. Okay. Go ahead. And that, this will be going towards Kelsey, correct? Yes. Any questions of her? Okay. Um, you made a statement about me kicking you in the stomach. Um, on a police report, isn't it true that it was I accidentally bumped into you when you was breaking stuff around the house? No, that's not true. Okay, so the police statement is wrong. Um, Kyrie was born in 2018, correct? Yes. And we separated in 2022, correct? Yes. And you, you made a statement that you was too afraid to make Well, you say you was too afraid to press charges, correct? Yes. So that's four years. But did we what? not? Um, I have a question. When you, is it true that you decided that we should move to Texas because you was tired of the abuse from your mom? Not abuse from mom. I was tired of not having family. So, yes, I did say that we should move to Texas because I wanted family. But if you were so afraid, why would you want to move to a different state with a guy that was apparently abusing? Because if I, I was going to start over a whole new life, even if it was just by myself with my kids. But we <clears throat> moved together, correct? I moved by myself. You came after when you got out of jail. You moved by yourself. Okay. But then we go to my family. My adoptive family. Yes, and I felt safer. Yes, yeah, and you I felt, felt, you, safer you, you you felt safer. Okay, I, 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 okay. That's, that's all I needed. You felt safer with my adoptive family than with your own family. Not, I didn't say you. I said your family. I felt safe with them. Not yeah, you. well, my, that's what I said. Yeah. You felt safer with my adoptive family more than your abusive family. They're not abusive. But Do I have marks on me? It, well, I, 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 I would like to ask a question. Isn't it true that you have PTSD from your childhood abuse from your parents? What does PTSD have to do with anything? Ma'am, he's asked the question. Answer it, please. No. <laughs> I would like to ask another question. Is it true that your mother's boyfriend put hands on our children? No. It's not true. So you, you, not. you're saying it's not true. Okay. Is no, it true that true. your is it true that your parents call our kids niggers? No. That's not. not true. And so if I call Jamar with the texts and the calls. Would you admit to that? Would he say it's true or not? No, he wouldn't say it's true. He wouldn't say it's true? Oh. He wouldn't. 
So you're saying your parents have never said anything racial about me or our kids? They never said the N word. So your your mother has never called me the N word. Well, called you, yes. So she called me the N word. Um, is it true that they say they don't want our kids having those people here? You're under oath. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Is it true? How it was from? Is it is it true that your mother told them they're more white? Than African American. No. No, no. She said they have white in them. They're mixed. Which is true. That's not they're mixed. And I said Amara looks more white than she I can't read that. All right. <laughs> is it true? Your mother took the kids out of school for days. Which you which you told me, just so I couldn't pick them up. No, no. I have proof. We took them out so I could spend time with them when they get out of school. But is it true that she would take them out of school early so I couldn't spend time with them? Don't worry, I got I got I got the teachers and everything. Don't forget, we had the whole act. We had the whole incident. It's all documented. Not so you could couldn't spend time with them, but so I can get them because you wasn't allowing me to have them. I had to go to the school, and if I couldn't uh, do it, she had to go grab them for me because you. But is it true though that? But it, it is true that. But not, it is true that y'all pull them out of school. I, we didn't pull them out early all the time, but. Is it true that y'all pulled yes, them out of school? I just, said yes. I just said yes. So I can have my baby. So I can spend time with my children. How many times, like, on a range, how much school do you think they missed because y'all pulled them out of school? Just a range. Not much. Excuse me, I didn't hear that, ma'am. How much? I said not much. Like days, like a no. week. Two weeks. No, that's a lie. All together, all like all like, not like you know straight. Like all together. Like if you accumulate it all into one, how much time do you think they missed out of school? Because we do have school records. I don't know. All right, Kelsey, is it true? that I've been taking care of the kids by myself for the past eight months. No, that's not true. I've been having them on and off. That's not true. When, when was the last time you had the kids? I was in and out the hospital. I was at high-risk pregnancy. So when yes, was the last time you had the kids? Um, what, When's the last time I had the kids? Hold on. I'm asking mom because she might know. I don't remember. Ma'am, hold on. Ma'am, oh. nobody else can give you information. You're oh. testifying. Okay. So um, I do I not want, I do not, hold on, stop talking. I don't want them giving you information. I don't want them testifying. They had a chance to testify previously. This is the time for you to testify. Okay, okay. I, I do remember. Sorry, sir. I just had Kyrie like two weekends ago before his birthday. His birthday is June 6th. So the weekend before his birthday, I had Kyrie. I have my kids on and off. So that's the lie. All right. No, you had Kyrie. We have four yes. children, but okay, okay, it's not, um, is, right. isn't it true that y'all had to put your mother had the police drop off Kyrie because not you, your boyfriend, or your parents want to take care of him? That's not true. Are you sure about that? There's police reports. Your, your, the police came That's in my door. That's not why him. he got dropped off. I had to go to work. Okay, so you had to go to work. When I gave you our son so you can have time with him, but since you couldn't take care of him, you I had the police come to home. Care of my yes or no? 
because you want to not take him back. Yes you're or no? You're refusing to take him back. So yes, you're refusing. Uh, Kelsey, yes or no? Y'all had the police drop our son off because you couldn't take care of him at the time, correct? No. Then why, why was the police there? Because you were refusing to take him back when I told you I had to go to work. But I, I gave you our son. And I had if, to, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. You said I would not allow you to spend any time with the kids. That but, is correct. I have to. But no, I, I'm, the point I'm trying to make is. The point I'm trying to make is. You I have to ask the question, sir. You don't have to make a point. You have to ask the question. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Yana. So, you do get the kids. Correct? Audrey has no choice but to give them to me now. No. You're at work. So, you do get the kids, right? Not here lately, no. You're the but one you do get the kids, right? Yes. And so, where is it that I'm withholding the kids? I have proof. Every time I've asked for those kids, oh, we're doing something. Oh, I can't do it today. Okay. Do you have a way for our kids, all four of them, to be cared for while you're working a full time? When you and your yeah. boyfriend... Your current boyfriend, both work first shift. My fiance, but yes, I do. I have somebody to watch them. Yes, I do. Who is that? I have a babysitter. That is none of your business. Okay. They have somebody to watch them. I'm not. No, I, I have one final question. <laughs> we separated. On Thanksgiving Day. Yes. Who has the children primarily stayed with? And who taken care of them? Me or you? Both. That's I have the kids on and I'm both. It's not okay. a lie. That's fine. I, I, I can only ask questions. Um, out of the past eight months, who have the children live with the most? Let's get to the point because you won't give them to me like that. Who have the children live with the most in these last eight months? How can I have my kids if you don't give them to me? And I have to snatch that. I just, I just, I, 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 only thing I need is, ma'am, that, that, that's not the question. Okay. He's asked you, who have the children been with the last eight months? Ma'am, don't, don't look to somebody else for an answer. No, I'm not. Sorry. I was just, I'm thinking. He has, because okay. he won't give them to me like I want them. He's refusing. I have, I have, I have another question. Audrey. I have another question. I thought that was so my last my one, fault. but that's not my all fault. these questions, like, they're, they're filling my mind. Okay. Is it true that you claim all the kids on food stamps, correct? Yes, because we're supposed to have joint custody. And I've been giving you food stamps for the kids when you have them. All right. How much do you think you've given me within these eight months? Wait, before I do that, how much are you getting food stamps a month? I don't get much. I'm about to be I'm getting cut off. I, just, I, I need a number. You you know the number because you check the food stamps. How much do you get a month? I don't know. I don't check you them like that. No, I don't. How much do you get in food stamps a month? You check it. We have records. That's why you're being investigated right now. You know. Is 
It's well, it's well past a thousand. We know this. You're under oath. Please don't lie. I'm not lying. I just. <clears throat> Ma'am, if you um, don't know specifically, approximately I what? Actually, 900. 900? Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's 1,206. Hey, sir, you can't testify at this point. Okay, okay. I apologize. <clears throat> so you don't say it. You say nine hundred, right? I don't check like that. I just go grocery shop and I get them. And I just oh no, 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 it's it's fine. For the kids. For the past eight months, how much have you given me in food stamps to pay for our kids' food? Oh wait, I'm sorry. You get Wick as well, right? For Lorenzo, but I had Lorenzo up until May of this you, month. You, you, last you, but month. you gave Wick as well, right? Yeah, that's yes for Lorenzo. No? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I had Lorenzo for a whole year. So for the for the past, hmm. we haven't been separated for a year, so that that don't make sense. Well, almost a year. We haven't. No, not we're not even close to a year. But anyway. How much do you think you've given me in food stamps <coughs> to pay for our kids? Even though I, I you, you, you already that. said that I've had I've the kids. Stuff. You already admitted that I've had the kids. But you still get the food stamps for them. I can't. How much do you think you've given me? I don't know. You stamps. said you didn't need them. At first you said you didn't need them. You got the food. I have text messages. I told you I've been offering them since the day I left. Hey, I got when I get the food, I will split it. Some okay, ma'am, ma'am, the question was, how much have you given him in the last eight months from the sources that you have, food stamps, WIC, et cetera? Uh, that I don't know. Well, approximately then. Mm. I, I don't know. Have you? Was it a hundred dollars? Two hundred dollars? What? More than that. I know it's more than that. Is it close to six hundred? Five to six hundred? Something around there? Is that your answer? Five to six hundred? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, sir. But you get nine hundred a month, right? And so for eight months, that's all I've got. Okay. Is it true? You said you didn't need it. That I offered. I offered. Is it true that Kyrie has severe food allergies, right? Yes. He, he can't have dairy. Right. He can't have any nuts. And he can't have gluten. Correct? Exactly. So I get the stuff that he needs on the food stamps. Yes. Um, so for eight months... <laughs> You know what? That would be nice. Let's say you gave me 500. What about the rest of the month? Who you? was paying for all the food in the house you, to support our kids? What was you, that, man? But you said you did not need my food stamps. I said he did, but you told me when I tried offering you food stamps first, you said you did not need it. So don't lie. Yes, you did. Because I was like, hey, I got food stamps. You want it? No, I don't need it. I got cash. You can keep your food stamps. Keep the kids on it. That's what you said. So let's not lie. Stop trying to make yourself look innocent because you did tell me that. I even have proof in text messages. All right. I tried you're, multiple times. No, hey, I got no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to cut you off. I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> I put my 401k out in September, correct? Yes. You was, we were still together, right? Actually, it was in November. You pulled it out, not September. No, it I pulled it out in September. I have the receipt. 
Oh, okay. so September when I when I, when I dig. Hey, sir, sir, job. you're not testifying now. Don't try to ask her questions. Okay. So we pulled it out in September, correct? I know. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can hear you. I pulled it out in September, correct? Okay. Yes. We use that money to take care of the kids. That's correct. We no, not we. That's not correct. Not we. You. I didn't see none of that money. You. I didn't but see we none was of that living money. together, correct? No, I moved out right after. You moved out right in November. You got you, money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I understand. But you moved out in November, correct? Yes, I did. Right. I did. So September. October, November, that's three months. But we were still together, correct? Until yes. November. So we used that money. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't because I wasn't there. You got it as soon as I left. No, so we got in, you, you just said no. we got it in September because. No, you applied to get it. We have the receipts. Yes. Okay. What, what's the, what's the relevance of this, uh, Mr. Daniel? Is there, there there are no property disputes in this case. Oh no, I, I was I was trying to get to a point, Your Honor. Well, please. Do. I'm sorry if I'm wasting time. I I, I can move past that. Okay. What what am I doing? Do you have more questions, Mr. Daniel? You know what, Your Honor, I'm done. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brief recess. I have another matter that I had to take at ten thirty. So it'll probably take about ten minutes. So we'll put you uh, we'll put you back in the uh, waiting room for about ten minutes. Then we'll bring you back in, and then we'll continue. Okay? Yes. Thank you, Yana. Okay. Five minutes later. Because I had to go to work. I had to get everything ready to go okay. to work. Okay. You're Friday. missing my question. You said you had him for the weekend, but it was a Thursday when you had to work and go back. That Thursday is not on the weekend. So explain oh. to me how you had him on Thursday when you had him on the weekend. No, I just had him on the weekend and I gave him back. Okay, so it wasn't a Thursday? No, I went to work on Thursday, yes. But no, I didn't have him on Thursday. That's for sure. Okay, I don't know why you brought up Thursday then, but uh, okay. When, and I asked you, when did you have to have Kyrie back and the police involved and you said Thursday so that's wrong correct oh sorry yes yeah, sorry I was confused okay when did what day and what time did the police get called and have to transport your son back to the defendant Wait, the police didn't get called that day. The day that we took him back, they did not get called that day. Okay. Yeah. No. So on the week, okay, that weekend, when did you take him back? Uh, we took him back, I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember. It was one of those days, Your Honor. Okay. So he... The defendant would have let you head, Kyrie, for, let's presumably, for Friday through Monday or Tuesday? Yes. Okay. And then to the next question, which you are trying to anticipate and answer, why did you not have all of the kids? They would not give them to me. I wanted them all, but they would not give them to me. Okay. What was the incident in which you talked about the police having to be involved in Apparently, take Kyrie home. I can't remember what day it was, Your Honor. Well, but approximate. I remember... Are we are we talking a month ago, a year ago, what? Um, I think a couple months.
Tell me what happened. Um, I was having complications with my pregnancy. I was at a high risk. Uh, I was basically dying. They had to save my life, and the baby ended up dying. So I was like, "Hey, I cannot have the ba- I cannot have him here. I got to go to the hospital. So you need to take him because I'm in and out the hospital all the time, and they were refusing. Well, you wanted him. You keep him. I'm like, I'm having health problems. I I don't want my son here to witness okay. this. Let's, so let's, okay, let's. Okay, let's. So he was with you, and you said a couple months ago. And for what period of time was he with you? From the start when he first came to you until the time that he ended up going back to the defendants? I think it was, I think it was only a couple of days. I think he was only with me a couple of days. I can't remember, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Okay. If you were having problems during that time, as you said, you were in and out, et cetera. Why did you take him in the first place if you were having health problems and you couldn't care for him? I, because like I said, I was dying and I wanted to spend some time with my child just in case if I did pass away, I wanted to get that time in with him because he's so young. Okay. And I love my, I love my baby boy to death. Like, I, I love all my kids. Like, I'm just, it scared me okay. that I almost lost my life. That's fine. So let's go back to, so you separated in approximately on Thanksgiving of 2022, correct? Yes. And after you separated, the children went and stayed with defendant, correct? Not all four of them. I had Lorenzo up until May, the beginning of May. Um, and I had, but the kids- May, May, of, May, of, May, of, May of this year? Yes, Your Honor. Lorenzo just went back with his dad. Like he hasn't, he's only been there for like, what, a month and a half? Mark, maybe. Why? Why were the? Why was Lorenzo? Why did he not go with uh, defendant? Um, he he goes with me everywhere I go because Dad really didn't want him, so I took care of him up from the time that I left Edward up until I was basically dying so i was like okay you got to go back to your dad so okay I so back. so at the uh at the time that you left you're saying you left correct yeah, yeah. you uh you kept lorenzo with you and through approximately may yes yep and just had the other kids on and off but I have had the kids on and on. Okay. Yeah. My question is, in December then, December of 2022, how many days were the children in your care? I'd keep them, the, ch- the children, well, at least the three, because Mara doesn't like to come be with me. She's a daddy's girl. I've been trying to get her to come with me. But the other three, well, the other two, I should say, they would stay with me for like a couple days out the week and then they'd go back to their dad and then I'd have to fight with him on getting them back. And then I finally had enough and go get them from school. They'd stay with me for about, Ari, she stayed with me longer than Kyrie. She stayed with me like two a week or two and then go back to her dad. And then Kyrie would be like a couple days. Okay, let's break, let's break this down. You said in December 2022 that they would come and stay with you a couple days a week, correct? Yes. Throughout all of December 2022? Yes, I get them on and off, yes. Okay, let's go to January 2023. 
Did that continue? Um, yes. <clears throat> How about February 2023? Yes, with Ari, yes. And Kai, yes. Okay, March of 2023? Uh, yes. Same? Yeah. And April 2023? No. No what? No, I didn't get the kids in April. Okay, so you didn't have them at all in April? <laughs> no, just Lorenzo. Uh, May of 2023. Nope. And how about uh, so far in June of 2023? Just Kyrie for the weekend, like I said, and that's about it. Okay. I, I just want my kids back. Ma'am, you're aware, aren't you, in these cases, if again, if a parent is denying you time with the other, with the children, you have a right to file a petition and ask the court to order that that person would turn the kids over to you. Are you aware of that? No, Your Honor, I didn't know because I got denied multiple times. You got denied what multiple times? Like a lot to keep my kids. Like that's okay. why I had to go get them from. That school wasn't my. Place. That wasn't my question. Please pay attention oh. to my question. My question was: Are you aware that if you are denied parenting time, you have a right to come into court and file a petition and say, "I want parenting time." No, I didn't know that, Your Honor. Okay. to know where I'm working at. I can let you know. I just don't want him to be involved when I tell you. Well. If, I don't know if we can mute him out so I can No, tell you. we can't mute him out. He's entitled to be in the hearing. So you're working. Where, when did you start working? Uh, I, 16 an hour. Are there any bonuses, any other, have any expenses that come out of that other than taxes, such as union dues, uh, uniform expenses, anything else? Anything else that you would like me to be aware of, ma'am? Yes. Um, this is how he was talking about me having a baby out of wedlock, even though my son is dead. What about him? when we were together he was he had sex with my blood sister her name is brandy reed and can't we do something about that too well and he's cheated on me multiple times okay yeah okay anything else that's in relation to either your cross-examination or the court's questioning that you have to add at this time? Um, no. No? Okay. Mr. Daniel, as a result of the court's questioning, do you have any additional questions? Not at this moment, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Okay, that will conclude your testimony then, ma'am. Uh, and you said, I think you you said that you have no other witnesses. No, I would have, but I don't can't speak up on what she told me because she's not here to verify it. Okay, I well, my, my question again, you don't have other witnesses, no, correct? No, I don't. Okay. That, and so you rest your case, ma'am? 
Yes. Meaning you're done. Yep. Okay. Okay, Mr. Daniel, uh, again, we're at a point where you can now present your witnesses. So you have witnesses to present. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and who would you like, who are you gonna call as your first witness? My first witness would be Audrey Woodson, a family friendly. Okay, and uh, is Ms. Woodson, uh, has she joined on Zoom or joining it by phone? Uh, I would like to join by phone, okay. Your Honor, but I could not get the number. Oh, okay. So that'll be okay with the court. Yep. We'll get we'll give you the number. We're sending it to you on uh, on your uh, device. They'll have to put in the uh, the Zoom ID number. Are they doing it Zoom or by telephone as the other witnesses? Do you have Zoom? Okay, we, we can do it by Zoom. Let me okay. get the Zoom ID. Then I know Zoom. she has Zoom, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the 7127290704 number. It's yep. in your chat, Zoom chat. It's the second number. The first number is the phone number. The other one is the Zoom number. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying to figure out how to... I, I I I currently do not see a number. Okay, it's seven one two seven one two seven two nine seven two nine zero seven zero four zero seven zero four. No, what? That, he didn't say the number right. What? It'll be Judge Kirk. So I hope I hope it says like the judge's oh, name right. I'm, I'm really bad with saying people's names. She's not a witness. He's lying. She hasn't witnessed anything. She hasn't seen it. Only what he tell her. That's what she knows. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, if you're going to talk to somebody in the background, mute yourself. How do you do that? There's a mute button in the bottom left corner of your computer. Okay. I found it. Okay. Okay, let's see. Were, were you able to um, get in? Okay. You want to, the judge okay, is going to be there. Are you Miss Woodson? Yes. Not connected to the. What? She's not connected to the audio yet. She is. I can hear her. No, that was an act. They're in the same thing. Oh, they I see. The same okay. thing. They're... Okay. Miss Woodson, you're going to have to get in a different area of the home so that we don't have echo and reverberation. So you're going to have to move. All right. Um. I'm about to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Is that better, Your Honor? Miss Woodson, if you could talk. Uh, okay, we couldn't hear you, ma'am. Yeah, I just I just figured the audio out. Okay, great. We can hear you now. What we're gonna do is we'll have you sworn in, then we'll proceed. So if you would raise your right hand, please. Ma'am, do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give shall be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Daniel. Um, Adriana, is is it true that Kelsey will leave Lorenzo unattended for multiple hours? Yes. Ooh. Can you explain it? Um, being on a phone call with her, um, hearing the child screaming in the background for over three hours, and not once did I see her pick the child up or attend to him. Miss Adriana, would it be safe to have you witnessed the abuse? Oh, that's leading. Sorry. Um, can you describe Kelsey's parent? Melissa and her her new stepdad now Joel. Um, stepfather Joel, very racist. Um, mother also racist. Don't like either one of them. 
But what do you mean by that? Have you seen? Um, I have seen um, Joel talk about the children's hair. Um, and also Kelsey Daniel has also called me multiple times um, talking about how she can't stand it because she can't have her kids where she was living at the time because her mother is racist and the person that her mother was with was putting his hands on the children so she could not have her kids over there okay ma'am I, I didn't clarify you said that the plaintiff told you this is that yes okay so, I, I want to make sure that that was correct okay thank you go ahead Adriana I, so, I'm sorry hold on Adriana, um, is it, can you give me the best statement of the children's living conditions when you first got to my home when Kelsey left? Um, it was, it was good when I came here. Um, they seemed great. They were happy, um, well taken care of, food, clothes, bedrooms. Ac what about academics? Oh. Excellent. Um, they were achieving very well in school until this divorce started happening. And you are a family friend. You've known me and Kelsey for how many years? Um, about five, six years. At any time, did you witness any type of abuse or neglect on either of our ends? Um, not on um, Edward's end. He was usually at work most of the time. Um, on Kelsey's part, um, when I would come into her home, um, it would not be picked up the best. Um, her son would usually be in a soiled diaper. Um, I mean, they run around and just mess the house up. She doesn't really do much. She's more of a friend than a parent, I would say. Okay. Um, I have a more serious question. Okay. Are we polyamorous? Yes. Have me, you, and Kelsey ever, all, all of three of us, engaged in sexual relations? Yes. Did she live with us for a brief period of time? At the home here? Yes. Yes. Like live with us, not live with us, but she would not leave as asked. Okay. Um, I know this is going to be weird, but do the children at any point walk in on all three of us engaging in adult activities? Um, of my recollection, no. Okay. Um, I have been arrested, correct? Yes. Do you remember, do you know what I was arrested for? A old speeding ticket. That's all I have right now, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Daniel, do you have any question of this witness? Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead. Um, so when do I leave my baby unattended? Because I never leave him unattended. I'm always with him all the time when I had him. Never unattended. Yeah, he cried. That's just how he was. I have seen Lorenzo in a car seat locked up, not able to get out. And um, I have screenshots as well of you, Kelsey Daniel, saying that you can't take him out because he gets into too many things. So he's locked up for hours at a time. That's a lie. No, he's not. Ma'am, ma'am, this isn't your time to make comments. It's your time to ask questions. Okay. Where, where was he locked up in a car seat, Dad? Um, at Jamar's house. Go ahead, ma'am. The home where she resides at, her boyfriend's house. You've been.
But you've never been there, correct? Oh, it was video call. I screen recorded it. Video call, but... Yes. So is it... Never mind. So is it true you were never a witness to anything? Edward's just telling you things. No, I've been a witness. I have known you for over five to six years. Liar. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm not going to warn you again. Do not make editorial comments. You can ask questions or otherwise okay. be quiet. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Go ahead if you have any more questions. So are you not, is it, tr is it true you're Edward's girlfriend? Um, we are partners. Because it's on Facebook. We're partners. We're in a domestic partner um, relationship. I help him with his children and he helps me with mine. Is it true you got my son calling you mom? All my kids, you're forcing them. Um, mom. Your oldest two children, Amara and Ariana, they call me mother, Mama Audrey. Um, your two youngest boys, they on their own have chosen to call me mother because of my motherly role. I cannot help that they call me mom. I have multiple times told them to um, refrain to me as Audrey and they insist to call me mom. So I can't stop a child from saying that. So is it true that you used to be on meth? Um, yes, I am now sober since December of 2022. So is it true that you smoke all the time? I smoke cigarettes and I use medical marijuana. Um, I smoke outside of my home or in my bathroom with my door locked and my bathroom is in my bedroom. So, so it's true that you're high a lot with my kids around. Um, there is a, no another adult in the home who is sober at all times, and I only smoke twice a day for my anxiety and my medical problems that have no recollection of anything that have to do with this case, but yes. From what I witnessed when I lived with you guys, your mom smokes weed with you all the time. But when I'm on the phone with the, when I video call with the kids, and it's true that she's in the room smoking weed with you. I see it all the time when I'm on the phone with them. So no, ma'am, is that is that a question. question? It's true. Was that right? Yes, that's the question, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, so can you repeat your question, please? I said, ain't it true when I'm on video with my kids, I see you and your mom smoking weed together. I know what weed looks like because your children are never in the room with me when I'm smoking weed. That is not true. And how do I so, see you and your mom smoking how weed? How do you see me and another person smoking marijuana around children when there's never any children around me? And if you're on the phone with your children, how would you be able to see me? You call my phone, that's on my time. When you call your children's phone, that's on their time and your time. Yes, I've seen it on your phone, too, when we video call, too. You and your mom are in the room smoking. Is it true? With no children around, and when we are smoking, your ex soon-to-be ex-husband is here with the children. But and isn't if it true that not, he drinks? If he's not here, is it true what? That he drinks, too. Don't he has your... two double shots a day, which is way under the legal limit in the state of Michigan. But it's still true that nobody's sober in that house with them kids. You're under oath. You have to tell the truth. I am sober. I'm sober right now. Right now. Yes. And every single time I have to watch any children, I am sober. It takes an hour for the weed to be completely out of my system. My body does not hurt anymore. And I can proceed to be the best parent I can possibly be. Is it true that you smoke weed and drive with my children in the car? Absolutely not. I have never smoked marijuana in the children in the car with any child at all, ever. That's literally insane, but yeah, no. Is it true that all the kids sleep in one room? Is it what? 
Is it true that all the kids sleep in one room, the boys and the girls? Yes, it is. There is a twin size bed in the room. And then there is also a bunk bed with two sets of twin size beds. There is approximately four children and your youngest son, um, Lorenzo sleeps in our room and he has his own toddler bed in here. So is it safe to say that I'm asking a question, ain't that dangerous for all the kids to be in one room if the fire happens? No, it is not in the state of Michigan. There can be two to four bodies of children per room. It is not wrong. They are inappropriate sometimes. Yes, these are children. They are learning. But that's all I have to ask. Okay, that's all you have, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Ms. Woodson, if you would, uh, you talked about the, uh, again, the home situation, the environment and the uh, kids, uh, you say the kids are happy, et cetera. Oh, yes. Do they, do you notice, do the kids express any love, affection for their father? Oh, absolutely. Um, last weekend, it was Father's Day, and they were ecstatic to come in here and give him the hugs, and gifts, and stuff. Okay. Do they, you say they hug, do they kiss, do they embrace? Oh, yeah. What? He gives them all kisses on the forehead. Um, they hug. Um, I mean, they love their dad. It's very obvious that they do. Okay. You said that uh, at the time yeah. of... Uh, the separation that they said the kids were doing well in school. Yes. How are they doing now? Um, well, we have two of the older one, the older girls in summer school to help um during this uh divorce. Um unfortunately, Kelsey Daniel had to have the police at the school multiple times um for her own um reasoning. And um that has affected the kids a lot. Um, they have said it's embarrassing. They have said that. Okay, you can't tell me what the kids say. Okay, okay. So you have you have the two older. You have uh, Amara and Ariana uh, in uh, in uh, summer, school. summer school. Okay. And Kyrie, how how is he doing? Um, I work with him here at the house. He does great in school. We're working on um, pronouncing our our words and uh, writing our name better right now. Okay. Anything else, ma'am, that you would like me to be aware of? Um, no, I okay. mean, no, not that I can think of right now. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, Mr. Daniel, do you have any addition you know, as a result of my court's question or the cross? Do you have any additional questions of this witness? Not at this moment, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, as a result of my questions, uh, Ms. Daniel, do you have any additional questions? I don't have any questions, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, Ms. Woodson, that will conclude your testimony. Uh, thank you, and uh, your excuse. Have a good day. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Okay, Mr. Daniel, uh, you have any additional witnesses other than yourself? I may have, but I would like to ask, probably like, is there an age range for the witness? Well, I mean, the, the, the only age range is the witnesses have to be of sufficient maturity to know right from wrong and how to tell the truth. So I have no additional witnesses at the time, Your Honor. Okay. Other than yourself, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, why don't we do this? I see it's uh, about getting close to 1130. Uh, why don't we take a noon recess? We'll break and then we'll come back at uh, one o'clock, okay? Wow, just wow. I told you this was a doozy. Who do you think these children belong with? Tell us in the comments. 
hit that like and subscribe button, and never miss these explosive cases. Part 2 will be up soon.